Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Divisional rival. The Saints. Like and subscribe. I gotta get used to telling y'all the boys that. But hey, you already know us. Here we are. The kickoff. The most. Entertaining part of the game. According to 15% of people. But today we versus Taylor Heineke, who is actually one of the pass. Passing leaders at a 70 overall. First down, Heineke. Oh, and Heineke gets absolutely laid out. He got rolled on. He got absolutely rolled on, but here we go. We got to deal with a two back set. I'm not falling for that. Good try, though. Deion Jones gets another sack. But yeah, Taylor Heineke and the boys. They got Michael Thomas. Of course, they got Alvin Kamara. Deion, big tackle. We almost lost him. That would have been bad. I, I expect to fully blow out New Orleans. They're one and three. They're second worst in the division to Tampa Bay, if you can believe that. I don't know what happened to Tampa Bay, but I didn't check what they got last week. But they were 0 and three before that. I didn't check their week four performance. And you already know what we do. But we got to watch out. On first down, Cohen. Laser, Kyle Pitts. Got this complete to the tight end Should be the leading receiver at the end of the season. Of going out of bounds. But, you know, can't game. get everything you want. But managed to pick up about four we'll take it. Down. Mike Davis. Mr. Consistent as always, even though we don't look to him as much as we did because we have Michael Cohen now, our absolute stud of a QB. And we have Kyle Pitts developing into a monster. And you can't stop this monster. We feed our beast. And that was... If that wasn't a throw out of sack, I don't think it was that Demario Davis can keep up. That would have been a nice little think and grab tutty. Mike Davis, though, breaks one loose for a good rush. Seems we get less and less of those. Last season, it, we, we needed him bad. But the offense, I wouldn't say has changed a ton. But the development of some players definitely has helped. And the fact that we have a QB helps. And the fact that I can put Kyle Pitts on endless corner routes help. Because there's no linebacker that can keep up with him. Especially when we have mid-out elite. Where he's hitting those cuts at such a speed. Now the extra point. Kyle Pitts is a 93 easy next season. Cohen should be at least an 85. We're praying for a superstar X Factor. We're praying for a superstar X Factor. Russell, Russell Gage should be a nice receiver next season. We're definitely not going to take a receiver in the draft. Already discussed what we need last episode, but of course if you didn't see it, First of all, what are you doing? Check it out. You're spoiling yourself, but I'll do a quick rundown anyway. Secondary, possibly running back. But that's about it. And shoot, we may win the chip this year. If we get to the playoffs, definitely going to have to make the settings a little bit harder. 
you know, I, we lost to the Browns. They absolutely punched us in the mouth. Since he gave us a run last week, we we demolished the Ravens. They sucked. I mean, here's what we're, we're beating the sucky teams. We're beating the teams we should be beating. We beat the the Owen four probably Buccaneers in week one. We got smashed by the undefeated Browns. I believe they're the Super Bowl champs. We absolutely smashed the at the time Owen two Ravens. Set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Cincy, I don't remember what their record was. First drive, they got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two score. I can throw it to him, and he's everywhere. Practice in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score. We beat the teams we should be beating. We don't play down a competition. If competition is down, we step on them some more while they're down. Mentality. We're not going to play down to your competition to have a good game. We want to absolutely blow you out of the water. Get you again and then blow you out of the water again. That's what's going to happen in our division. Because our division is kind of weak this season. The Panthers, I, don't, I haven't seen what they've been doing. That's so corny, bro. You hear me talking my stuff. And then we get a pick six. Oh, that's annoying. That's the only points they're going to score. That's the only points they're going to score. Knock on wood, but that's the only points they're going to score. They get their lucky pick six, throw out a sack, garbage. But we're going to roll this team. We're going to roll all of these divisional teams because they suck. So, take that for what it is. Throwing after the interception. Cohen. I love passing to Kyle Pitts. You get a lot of that. That's guaranteed. That's our backup center, by the way. Matt Hennessy got injured in practice. He'll be out for a week. But that that guy who was in right there just got pushed back. I needed Ridley to make one man miss. No huddle. Keep keep the foot on their throats. Nice pass. Seven eleven. Always open. What's Cohen's number? Kyle Pitts is eight. So what, they add up to what? Down inside the 20. 16? I'm being dumb. I don't know why I said 16. It's 13. I know math. Davis. I think. Room here. He's I know math. I'm good at math. At the line of scrimmage. But 8-5. Uh, we're open from 8 to 5. That just does not sound as good as 7-Eleven always open. Uh, yeah, we're open on normal business hours on the weekdays. What type of stuff is that? Post corner. I hate how it has the little wiggly at the top. They'll try and pick it up through the air. Can we look at this dot one more time? Pressure coming in. Cohen just throws an absolute smack. Booth review it all you want. Give me my seven points. Th Cohen throws an absolute smack in the back of the end zone for a tutty. 
I'll tell you what, I've been, I would have been nervous to make those throws with Matt Ryan. But here's the crazy thing, right? I was looking at the player of the week. Just Cohen got player of the week in that Ravens game. And Matt Ryan on the Colts. I completely forgot we traded him to the Colts. But Matt Ryan got himself a player of the week. Like... What? Who allowed this man to get player of the week? It's been an awfully slow start for him. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. That means they have to change up. Three possessions, no first downs. It's a change. Yeah, I like that. Usually moving it to more up tempo type of an offense. Just to change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they're. Let's keep not allowing them to get first downs. I need an interception too for a challenge if we want to get one of those. Let's go. That's gonna. It's gonna bring up third and five. It's gonna bring them back a yard. They want me to blitz so bad. I'm gonna QB spot. Nope. No thanks. Taylor Heineke needed to be exposed. Him being a 70 overall and being in the top passing needs to be exposed. And that's what we came into this stadium to do. To expose the fraudulent Saints. Go draft a QB. Don't pick up uh, Heineke and call it a day. Heineke can only take you so far. And just thinking what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the table and see what you do. He'll give you three good touchdowns against the Bucks and lose. That's what he'll give you. He'll get yourself a guy like Cohen. Who'll get you a win over the Bucks with zero interceptions. But making Tom Brady throw like four. On first down. This Davis. And he'll push his way up to about the forty-four here. It's it's tough when I can't run the foot. Back to throw. Cohen. Escaping the pressure right. And it's knocked away it would have been an absolute beaut if we're dropping that, but we can't. I'm thinking Russell Gage quit. Maybe not. Kyle. Gotta hold on to that football, dog. And now fourth down. Hunter Nicewander on the punt now on fourth down. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Bounce off a big hit from Burnley. Okay. And the Saints will take over with a first down and ten. Getting set for their next drive. I'm gonna get on Deion Jones. I don't want to use the safeties anymore after what happened in the Cincy game. Not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet. Wow. Going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice? And maybe nice. Another guy get 5K career rushing yards on us. I form close, pinch buck, press. I'm selling out for the for the for the tackle. If I don't get it, they score a touchdown. A Luikun. Our linebackers get a good amount of sacks. <laughs> Can I say that much? I just want a quick pause it real quick. One interception is the game day goal. Got it. Now here's what I'll say. I don't have anything to say. So, how about that? Jackson. I don't know who Jackson is. I can't. I couldn't tell you. I can tell you he can lay a big hit from the side. Heineke's four for four. 
Here he's four for four. Are they going to punt? As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. A big four, and we need to be up by nine at half. To begin their next drive, the so we need to go get a field line. goal so I can get some more points. I needed somebody back there to pick up the block. Guys, come on. 14-yard gain. Cam Jordan was screaming at us. But our guy over there held him off for long enough. put your team in some jeopardy. Now left side on the swing pass. Try to try to swing and back inside, cut it back inside for something. Got a little something, Long nothing too crazy though. Cam Jordan gets it quick. I don't know whose fault that was. I'm not fully okay to say it was. Cohen's fault, nor was it. Was it Calvin Ridley's? I'm not going to place blame on anybody. I thought it was close enough where he could have got it. It may have not been. Whatever. But big hit coming in. Two big hits. Fumble the football, please. You know what would be huge right now? That interception I need for the Like, I'd be disappointed if we didn't get it because we usually always get one. We're good for one pick a game. No. They call the timeout for me. Thanks. But they're good for one interception. We're usually good for one interception a game. Get out of bounds. They're going to help me get this three points I need. I do not need to blitz. I don't need to be that insane. Looking to throw Heineke. Oh no! Stay up! Michael Thomas takes a fall. And Thomas seems to be in some pain. He's still on the ground. Heineke should have fumbled. God, that was Kareem Jackson who laid the hit. He defo should have fumbled. Jackson laid the bro. He forced it. But just cousin in the field to go get it. Someone can ride a lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. Hold it, hopefully. So none of these guards, these guards will be negated. Hold him. <laughs> we'll take those. We'll take those every day of the week. Second and 11 for the Saints. So I think drastic measures had I'm to be shooting taken. a gap. The regular one is open. Working. He was getting hit almost every snap that felt like they had to try and keep him upright. Time out. 18 seconds. Why am I calling timeouts? Because I want to take a lead at halftime. But I let them get a first down. I mean, I'm. They shouldn't make this. Actually, I don't know what I'm talking about. They should make that. That wasn't even a long kick. Or a kicker. And it's a dome. You see go on the board in your favor, Don't have to worry about uh, the weather messing anything up. We want to kneel. No. <laughs> no, I'm not going to kneel. We're going to gain yards. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. Hey, give they us a nice field face field mask. Four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. We didn't even gain a lot. So he was holding from that now you make me want to pass. 
everyone tries and to do something dumb. When they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. And now this throw incomplete. And that you got your hands on the ball. I don't know. Time you should probably we catch it. Forward to the beginning of the second half. What do I know? I'm four the points ahead of the asked, Saints. Where does this game go from yeah. here as we are back at it now on EA Sports? And able to get this out to the 25. Throwing on first down. Cohen flushed out right. Airing it out, looking for Ridley. I, shout out Ridley for making that catch, but I don't know why he moved up the field. I had him wide open so that out there. A bit. Here's a first and ten Cross. Way down at the 35. Looking to throw. Cohen dancing to his left. He lets this one fly toward the back of I the thought Ridley zone. could make another nice grab. That one may have been a little bit too contested. Here's second and ten now from the 35. How about running the ball? Wow. 76. Who was that? That Lindstrom? You gotta hold that ball. So now they deal with third and eleven. to throw Cohen forced out to his left laser <laughs> laser side judge and that's good enough for a first down let's see if we can get Kyle Pitts another touchdown I'd love if Cam Jordan's in coverage no one's in coverage touchdown Atlanta Thank you. We're firing on all cylinders. Kind of defense. My fault. But it's whatever. We move. Okay. Enough. Enough of that, All right? Let's kick it. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Woo! The Saints offense on Is the they not willing to risk started. another fumble? They and haven't the fumbled the ball this game. Was it halftime? Does that touchdown a minute ago change the Beautiful run ball? defense by us. We just matched them on the outside. Didn't let them get anywhere. We just matched them. Tomorrow had no room. I still need that interception. Heineke. On second and nine. Big hit, Casey Hayward. Heineke is 8 for 8. He's completed every pass. Which is just like, okay. Stuff. Ready to cheer it! Maybe he gets in so fast that he gets past the running back. Which is obviously... Getting not the good. Ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get the And Heineke goes down. They give a credit Grady Jared for half a sack. Give us the full sack. Come on, guys. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. Kamara's bouncing off four tackles, and Heineke is down in obvious pain. Who is their backup if Heineke is out? We're going to do a quick check on that after this punt goes right to our right side. I completely lied. Left side, Burnley, stay with it just in case. Um, who's the backup? Who is the backup? Ian Book? 
are Peter Lang. Not anybody better. Let's say that much. Well, Not anybody to begin better. Their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for Great drive, realize the pass rush is getting in. Dump it down. We don't need no, we don't need flashy plays every single because you know they'll make some adjustments. As much as I'd like that, we don't need it. Lindstrom. Making me fall in the backfield. Running in this game makes no sense sometimes. Good catch, Kyle Pitts. Did they blitz? Can I see their play? What play was that? Oh, they blitz. Check down is there. We'll take it. Complete to his tight end. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. We will take it. Let's dial something up. Play action. Made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Step into the throw. And that is incomplete. I like how play action opened up there. Let's do it again. Corner is like the autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game. Although they got who else but number eight? Yes, but there have been some good numbers. Seems he gets half of our passing yards these days. He probably does. His matchups are just so favorable. Look at they have a linebacker on him. I streak him if that safety doesn't help. In stride. Cohen hit him in stride. He's in the zone. Can I can I motion Davis back inside? I'm throwing a jump ball to Kyle Pitts. Come on, double me. You gotta activate. Whatever. Halfback wham. There's all our work. Gone, cause. Double me don't make no sense. Mike Davis, he, sque he squeezed it in there, realistically. But they don't want to give it to us. Biased Saints refing. If I were me, I'd put Kyle Pitts on my fantasy team. How much they pass it to him. If I was living in this Madden simulation universe and I had a fantasy team, I'm drafting Kyle Pitts. And I'm drafting Mike Davis as a third running back. As a second running back, actually. Because he's good for a touchdown and 50 yards a game. Consistency, boys. Shoot, I'd pick up the Falcons defense. I'd pick up Cohen. Like, bro, the amount of turnovers, our turnover ratio is amazing. And it looks like they are bringing in Ian Book. Our turnover ratio is actually amazing. Like, maybe I'll, I'll check that stat after this game and bring it up in the next one if I remember, but... We turn over the ball. We have work. Let's think. Four turnovers? And we've got way more... Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. Fights him off. Kamara once again breaking three tackles. I mean that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna break three tackles. You said coming in earlier the broadcast a magic number, but whatever points for you. That's what Brady Jarrett's looking for something. Good pass defense by I can't see who that is. I don't believe that's that was Sheffield. Good pass defense. We see the end result right now. Still looking for that interception, though. AJ Terrell. 
Let me get Acrobat on you, Holmes. We're picking that off every day of the week. Burnley credited with the tackle for that one. And he catches it, but does not stay. He doesn't even get forward progress. They're going for it. We're not going to dial up pressure. Three-man rush. I'm on the QB spy. Gotta try it here. He's back to throw. And he got it. Good throw. I mean, they're really just coming out and passing the football. I don't know why they press with three three-man deep. And Kamara breaks another tackle. These screen passes are helping the mess out of these boys. We're still looking for that interception. The one time we put it as the goal, they don't want to cough it up. They do not want to cough it up. To throw again on second down. It's just man is the tight Ian end Book. Throw, throw into some some contested places. Now they're going to run the football. Psych, I lied. If I would have stayed where I was before, they're going to go for it. This right. They have to. And they're coming out in. I don't know why they want me to play this type of defense. But whatever. And animations help Alvin Kamara get some get some yards. Ian Book. Here we go again. The rolling interception to me. Kamara's getting tired. You can't. Deion Jones has seven tackles. He's been everywhere. And he just got himself a nice little interception, too. Got a nice payday in the offseason. Defensive player of the year, too, while we're at it. Deion Jones got injured, though. We don't even want to risk him coming back out to play anymore. Let him sit the rest of this game. Pull it. I'm going to start running the football. This game is over. Wait, what is the challenge? Win by 17 plus. We're up by 17. I see no problem with this. But I... It's not the matchup as much as I want it to be. 40, throw a better block, please. As they would if they tried to run but it's something to choose some clock out. off this thing. Don't want this to be a 50 minute video. So I keep passing. What a pancake block in the middle. And we appreciate that. Now we have to pass. I mean, rain. Two minute warning, but rain would have been wide open. So it's Falcon football. Now they want me to run the ball. Halfback gut. Oh, I did not want this going to Youngblood, but go get it, Youngblood. I know he did not. That's what I'm talking about. I'm glad New Orleans isn't calling timeouts. They know the game is over. So let it end. This game is over. So while we are in the final seconds, let me discuss how I feel about this game. This game was good. The pick six is a mistake we can clean up. All right. It'll be fixed, you know, with due time. Um, everything else, though. Defense played well. I couldn't ask for anything better. 
And he'll take this ahead for about but that's that. I'm exhausted. Up. I'm about to head to so bed. Time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And it was Just their defense that really made the statement after about the break. About to get back they into it. Second half shutout. But I think about the team that just up, got man. vanquished. They did Till next time. Like and subscribe, though. Like and subscribe. But till next time.